Earlier there looking directly into the sun. Setterfield quickly forward. Here's a chance out the back. Eddie Betts on his left. Eddie! He's a genius. He's a beauty. Really high. We've seen Doherty um, weathering these guys inside the front half for Carlton. Repeat inside 50s provide opportunities like this. And let's not understand how difficult that kick was. If he actually fully kicked the ball, the ball would have swung away to the left. Did I imagine at the back of Casbolt? Lovely little give by Ruffhead. Oscar Nelly didn't get enough on it. Walsh will kick a goal. He does. He's improving the rising star. Entry wasn't too great. It was on top of uh, Casbolt's head there, but this is what you really want to see from your midfield. Just push inside forward 50, provide that first layer of defence and a missed kick, but he, you still have to be there in position and you know, picked it up and converted it well. So two goals from Carlton off almost repeat entries or, or turnovers. Have a big match. We were at that prelim final in 2018, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> when, we thought he was, when we thought he was going to change the football world. I'm, I'm not sure what's happened since, but... Anyway, a promising start for him today. Walsh's kick wide, that's a good one. To Cripps, five handballs so far for Cripps. Martin got it over the back, good kick to Mackay. Transition footy, one end to the other. Hard to do against the Pies. Now, he had the yips against the Suns. He was about to go on there, kick 2-4 that night. Should have probably kicked five. He's got one today. They're in front. We have a look at that kick by De Koning, and, and that's what all coaches are trying to get coming off half-back. The one on the 45, some coaches call it a, a bridge kick, but what it does is it allows your forwards to really spread hard off the back of it and gives them the full width of the ground to work in. So if he would have gone back and slow off the mark, Collingwood defenders get really well set, Darcy Moore gets set behind the ball, and allows the midfielders to... First kick, wanting a grab, getting only a grab with De Koning. Did well to hold up against Maynard. Mackay, Martin over the top. Bits lurking, fending off, clever, Fisher wrong side. No, he doesn't have a wrong side. Goal. As we see, it was a nice goal there from Fisher, but just shows how crucial it is you need to lock your tackles up in the in the defensive 50. Eddie Betts, he's that hard to tackle anyway, but smart hands and a, and a nice little step. But looking here at the, at the centre bounce, uh, as we see there, the, the handball from Eddie Betts. We have the centre bounce here from uh, from Collingwood. Alley. To Walsh, to Gibbons, to Gold, to cross the face. It floats, there's a couple of blues there. Eddie Betts, a good catch at the Gabba. Great block by De Koning. He actually recognised Darcy Moore coming running hard for the spoil. As we see here in the replay, as soon as the footy goes up, De Koning sees Betts is in the box seat. He just puts his hands up to sort of pretend like he's going for it. Quick thinking from De Koning. What about Eddie? Why would you doubt him? <laughs> Eddie's got two. Blues are back in front. But hey, Hamish, you mentioned he makes it look easy because he does keep it very simple. He squares himself off to the middle of the ground. He holds the ball right. There's no big elaborate movement. He's not trying to do half running with, with a drop part and change it at the last moment. Good kick. Kerno found some space. And Collingwood at sixes and sevens for the moment, aren't they? So Kerno kicks a couple of the match this year. He's uh, got a good temperament. I reckon that helps with these set shots. He's got it. The Blues are going well. Ed Kerno just coming down through the middle of the ground and you wonder how he finds space after just a centre clearance and everyone would sort of have their match up but the Collingwood uh, defence and, and midfield are all trying to get back and block up the space but you still uh, have to identify who's the most dangerous player take that one and allow then the free ones to work off the back of that. Through the legs of Pendlebury, ended up with Murphy now to Nunes, he knows how to kick an important goal, quick response
stoppage centre bounce goal and Paddy Cripps has made the adjustment and centre bounces as Scott Pendlebury is going to take and he takes that front spot, hold a bit of space and start to work his way back into the game. Paddy Cripps getting his hands on it, a couple of clearances, 